Welcome to the Nap Zone. A time in the afternoon when the brain, like a baby, wants to take a nap. As you saw, it does not make sense to schedule an important meeting or teach a class in the mid-afternoon. 3 p.m. in this example, though that's not a hard and fast time slot. You would make better use of the time if you did something requiring less focus, like checking email. Most of us grab a cup of coffee and attempt to plow right through it. The problem is, you can't plow right through it. The brain appears to be trying to downcycle during the afternoon nap zone, and intellectual processing gets hobbled. It might sound far-fetched, but you should actually consider taking a nap at 3 p.m. One NASA study showed that a 26-minute nap improved a pilot's performance by more than 34%. A 45-minute nap made the boost last more than six hours, said Mark Rosekind, the NASA scientist who conducted the research. What other management strategy will improve people's performance 34% in 26 minutes? Wow. You know, when they said in that video that 26-minute nap in the afternoon, that pilot's performance improved by 34%. Isn't that amazing? I know that next time I get on a plane, I'm going to make sure my pilot had a nap. <laughs> Are you going to knock on the cockpit door yeah, and ask him? Hey, how are you feeling? If I see him yawning, I'm going to go, no, no, stop everything. It's then, time for a nap. You know, this is a great time to utilize the relaxation response that we talked about earlier in the program. Just close your eyes for five or ten minutes. Repeat that word to yourself that just brings that feeling of peace. And just allow yourself a moment of downtime. If you slog through that really tired time, you are more likely to make mistakes that you're going to go have to go back when you're more alert and fix anyway. Right. So please, if you're a boss of employees and you really do want to increase productivity, we've had bosses say to us, why do I want my people to relax? They're relaxed enough when they're chatty Cathy on the phone. It's not about that. It's about letting your body cycle down, your mind cycle down for a moment so that you can come back and be your best at work. Yeah, you know, I drive back and forth to Albuquerque a lot, and, and for me sometimes when I'm getting that, you know, the yawning in the car, I, I hate it when that happens, and I just want to close my eyes, and sometimes I just pull over to the side of the road or get up at an exit. It's not even about sleep. I just close my eyes down, do this little relaxation response, five, ten minutes, and it wakes up my mind and gets me home. Yeah. Makes sense to me. So the fifth and final rule we're going to talk about tonight is the brain needs repetition to learn. The brain absolutely needs repetition, and this is one of the reasons that why in the work that Mitch and I do, that we have people repeat and repeat and repeat, because guess what, folks? We do it automatically. When we repeat negative self-thoughts, then we're going to have to repeat positive self-thoughts to change the way you feel about yourself in the world. If you are subconsciously repeating, I don't know, something silly like I am stupid, and you really want to have a different experience in your life, so you begin to say, okay, I am brilliant or I am smart, guess what? You need to repeat it over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again for the brain to learn that. Commercials have it figured out, repetition, yeah. repetition, repetition, and you get it almost every time. <laughs> That's right. So this little video, it's short, and it goes about kind of a funny way of showing a repetition. It's a little humorous. The first time I saw it, I thought, what? And then I looked at it again and I thought, oh, now I get it. So pay attention closely and figure out how, how this has to do with repetition. Hit me. Oh. Uh, hit me? Ah. Ah. Oh, I had forgotten about the brush the card thing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You come here often? Oh. You need to repeat to remember whether your brain is in a classroom or in a casino. Let's go back and see what happened next. So do you come here often? Ah. My name's Kate. My number is 7194141. Call me. 
have lucky number 3584665, you are a winner. If you have lucky number 3584665, you are a winner. And we're still looking for our last winner, lucky number 2580248. <laughs> Your brain can hold seven pieces of factual information for about 30 seconds. If you don't repeat it, the information disappears. If you do repeat it within 30 seconds, the brain will now hold on to it for one or two hours. If repetition does not occur again, then the information goes away again, this time permanently. The rule is, repeat to remember. Oh, I think that guy was pretty sorry he didn't <laughs> repeat that, that number back in his head. I remember when she walked away and all those numbers, I could just feel for him. <laughs> yes, yeah, so one thing that I think is really cool about that from now on, because I have this thing about names, when people tell me their name, sometimes it just goes like, I, oh, it's almost like I don't hear it, and that's listening skills, but it's true, I confess. Uh -huh. But now when I hear somebody's name, I'm going to repeat it three times. They say, once you repeat it, the second time, if you don't repeat it again, it's gone for good. So one time, two times, three times, and I think I'm going to get it from now on. You absolutely are, sir. So tonight we learned five rules about how the brain functions, and it doesn't do well with prolonged stress. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. So the way to combat that is to use the relaxation response. And you know, I just have to say this, Brandy, because sometimes people think that they wear it like a trophy, like stress is such a good thing, they deal with it so well, and they're kind of like proud of themselves for that. It's not okay. We're actually designed, your brain especially, is designed to deal with stress for 30 seconds. You know, again, just like they said in that video, you know, 30 seconds, tiger comes, you either get eaten or you run, and that's it. And from there on, go back to that homeostasis, that balance in your body. When we go, don't go back to that, it creates exhaustion in your, in your physiology, in your brain. It's not a good thing. So, slow down and do one thing at a time. The brain cannot multitask. One thing at a time, you're going to be more efficient and more productive. Give yourself permission to unplug from the network at certain times during the day so you can get your thinking work done. Understand if you are a day or night person and plan accordingly. If there's any way for you to switch your schedule, go ahead and do that. If not, just understand what times of the day you're most productive and use that to the best of your ability to make your work, your life, your home life as best as it can possibly be. Number four. Plan afternoon downtime. The brain wants to sleep and rest in the afternoon. That happens for all of us. Lots of times we slug a cup of coffee and just keep on going because we've got things to do. Five, ten minutes of rest. If you can even have a nap, I know some employers do not allow you to sleep. I get it. I know. I know. I've worked for them. But sneak under the desk. Go under the desk. <laughs> like sneak George under the desk and take <laughs> <laughs> We don't recommend that. <laughs> but you can have a moment of deep breathing and allow yourself just a little bit of brain downtime because the brain does want to rest and relax in the late afternoon, mid to late afternoon. Siesta time. That's right. Early to mid to late afternoon. And number five, <laughs> when it's time to learn something, repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> repetition, repetition, repetition. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. We hope you enjoy our new half hour format. We look forward to your emails, your questions, your phone calls. Please visit our website at itsyourmindthatmatters.com to know how to get a hold of us. We can't wait to hear from you. Have a fabulous evening. Have a great weekend.